Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Have we gone past the two-minute mark? No, I don't think we have. However, I just want to say to each and every one of y'all, um, please enjoy your day-to-day. Um, if you're gathering with friends and families, um, try not to keep it so heavy because there's been so much going on. Leading up to this day. Um, I like to think of it as a family gathering day. I even got to the point now. Uh, I don't even like to say happy Thanksgiving. And I know that's terrible. But when I think of my Native American brothers and sisters. Uh, it ain't a happy day for them. They don't celebrate this like that. Okay. So I have to acknowledge that. And the fact that the ground that I'm standing on. Right. So, with that being said, um, I like to uh, think about it as a, you know, families gathering today. And for those of us who have toxic and <laughs> very volatile, extreme family members, um, sometimes it's best not to put yourself in that situation. Uh some of us may be experiencing a tra- uh, a tremendous amount of loneliness this time of the year. Uh, not having, um, how I can say, same family members that we would, we would want to be around. Because we already know when they start drinking or if some stuff like that happens, it's always usually a fight. And, um, you know, or somebody brings something up that may happen have happened in five, 50 years ago or whatever. And some of us have normalized this type of craziness. And some of us have just uh, decided to call it what it is, which is toxicity and poison. And some of us cherish our sanity enough that we can only take so much of that. Or just not be bothered with it at all. Whichever one makes you feel better, it's okay. You are in control of your own life. You can say send love and light to the people that are involved. But it's okay for you to be by yourself. It's okay for you to be alone. Nobody makes the rules for you. Nobody but you. You are the captain of your ship and the anchor of your soul. Okay? So, with that being said, um, I quickly want to touch on the Ahmaud Aubrey uh, verdict, which I pretty much knew was going to go the way it did. I mean, there's, you know, not only do I think it was a tad of that jury having enough sense to to try to um, uh, make up for what those they had that they had to have that on their mind. What happened up? In Kenosha. But with that being said, again, I don't think no sane and rational human being would understand, would bring back a not guilty verdict of somebody killing uh, somebody for running up and down the street that happens to run in their neighborhood and he's black. I think that in itself, coupled with what happened, um, I applaud the jury, and 
I want to applaud the prosecution for doing tremendous work in that case. Um, just tremendous work. The prosecutor, she was on point. She was very good. She was very straightforward. I think she did an excellent job. Both of them, all of them. They did a very good job of dismantling all the tropes, the racist tropes. Um, the uh, component of the citizens' arrest, they did that. Um, and they showed the fair amount of compassion needed, you know, at the, at the same time to stay objective. I think the defense went too far. I think they start dragging all those racist tropes and doing all that. I think maybe the, the uh, jury got insulted. I mean, when you start talking about a dead, a, a, a young man that's dead and his toenails, that type of stuff. I mean, I don't think that turns, um, that doesn't turn every white person on, you know, uh, every white person they was it's like they was just looking for uh the right thing to wow get it and none of the tropes worked and I thank God for that that's a positive sign you know and I know sometimes in a world where it seems like a lot of things are so dark it's hard to find that light spot you know what I mean but this was a bright spot in America and this was a good spot in America and I'm I don't want to give up on humanity um and that right there doesn't mean it's going to happen again. doesn't mean it's going to happen again in every case. Right? It means in this case, on that day, the jury did the right thing. And I appreciate them. I appreciate the prosecution for um, bringing justice and not race um, all the way through this. And so justice prevailed in the end. I thank the people that, um, you know, just didn't, you know, march, didn't uh, go crazy, didn't, um, because it seemed like the defense was trying to do a lot of things to um, make people just angry. You know, just some of the things that they were saying. But I really think that this was a good sign. And I hope uh, that fair-minded people will be appreciated. I know I appreciate them. And I, I hope as black people, uh, we can recognize that and let it be. You know, you don't need all that, well, it should have happened. Or, well, it should No, no, no. Just stay in the moment. And I think that that's important. I think it's important that we throw away the idea that you cannot have an all-white jury convict crooked white people. Because that was just shot down with this verdict. And I want to give praise and thanks where praise and thanks is due. And I don't never want to be able to, I don't want to lose sight of that. Otherwise, my mind is shut down. So with that being said, uh, congratulations. My heart goes out to the Aubrey family, uh, the relatives, the cousins, the friends. I think all of the um, people who knew him, uh, who loved him, and that y'all have some closure to this uh, sad thing. And to the city in, in, of Brunswick, Georgia, hopefully... In all the other cities across America, hope we nobody have to experience no bullshit like that ever, 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 ever again in their life. God bless you all. Y'all have a great day today. Enjoy your day. Enjoy that good old food. And um, I'll probably be back a little later. Who knows? Might even go live today.